Jones here. This is my fourth fourth visit to Lakers Unlimited. Um, you know, I, I work for Eppinger Manufacturing, uh, making Daredevil spoons, and that's primarily what I've used the first several visits. But uh, I quickly realized that the shallow water fishery here in the fall uh, would be advantageous to fly fishing. So I started bringing my fly rod up, which I've been fly fishing now for maybe 50 years. And third visit, I primarily fly fish, and it was the most unbelievable fly fishing I've ever had for Lake Cow. Um, my partner and I caught over 350 fish in one week, ranging from 10 to 27 pounds, all on flies, all in less than 20 feet of water, uh, casting, drifting, just a, just a very unique, awesome fishery. I've fished all over northern Canada and some of the big lakes like Great Bear and Great Slave and you know, wonderful places. But as far as just a spectacular place to go with a fly rod, Lake Athabasca, and it just really can't be beat. It's just like Shangri-La with a fly rod. So. My kind of place. Then I got an invitation from John Cleveland um, from Eppinger Manufacturing, you know, the people who make Daredevil lures. Well, he happens to be a very avid fly fisherman, and for the past several years, he's been going up to Lakers Unlimited Johnson Island Lodge in northern Saskatchewan to fly fish for, yes, lake trout. Uh, so he invited me up, and Ryan Lowry, Captain Bruce, invited me up, and um, we had one heck of a week fly fishing for lake trout. Literally, I'm not exaggerating this, between John and I, we had to have caught well over 500 fish um, safely, all safely released. We kept retained one fish for the whole time for a short lunch on the last day. Uh, all caught on the fly, it was outstanding. So if you fly fish, and you've ever thought about catching lake trout on the fly, Lake Athabasca is the place to do it. It can be done and it is an 